I'll show you just shortly how you can do that. You just go here and open your device panel. You click here on E and now you have your whole device panel ready and you go to patch banks and you have here all the presets we were talking about. Now we can see if you have a patch like here users normally which are not the same as yours you just go there let's say you don't have that one and you double click on it and you can just change the name you change the name like this and then you say okay and I will not do it just to change not to change my file but then you can just put another name the whole uh, CZX program change is anyway the same for the same place in your file so you have that here you see you have bank select 14 bit here we make it clearer bank select 14 bit and you have here a program change because you have always these two messages for any kind of patch file and now if you want to add another another one we just go here and click OK activate and I say a new preset and you will have here we'll see here so we will have, have here a new preset now this preset you can rename it like saying you know and now this is uh, the preset before and we go and see the program change we are in bank 8 here bank 8 so if we go to our new preset you see there is no bank and nothing no program change so you have to do that and how to do that you click here and you should select bank select 14 bit okay now you put here 8 because that's your bank and you have to add, to add one other and the program change so the program change you find here at the end of the whole list see at the end of this whole list you find the program change and now you add the channel you want I mean this was uh, the f before was 80 so we will have now 81 and you put 81 sorry 81 and that's it if you enter this it will be done now this new preset is in your list close that and we're gonna see if we play a part of it here we can change device panels you see now we have this piano here and also we have it here so it's integrated in our patch file it's some kind of work but uh, it's easier doing before then afterwards is very difficult uh, there's a website uh, which is of Sikong I show it so Sikong www Sikong uh, you can find many tips and very good advices how to do MIDI device panels but it uh, it is very difficult to add a patch file later on in a device panel as you can see also in this uh, expl explanations so we come back to this and we just click on it and let play sound oh wow that's not what we wanted so i think yes that's the advantage if you have if you have these the patch panels you can immediately change your your whole program you see we can
and our world finances and have like this or you can change it here you have all these possibilities I think this gives a good idea about how you can handle these device panels included with your patch files. JJ.